Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on Two Ordinary Guys. First off I'd like to say thank you for all of the support that you've given on the last video. That was basically talking about the logistics of the NHS volunteers responders. Um, I kind of just briefly went over all of the different ones that you could um, have an option to be to be sort of you know picking up prescriptions going and, and just speaking to them over the phone there was doing the, their shopping and I went I went all over those uh, the four options um, that you could do as an NHS volunteer so if you, have, if you haven't checked that video out go and check it out I'll leave it in the um, description down below and I'll also leave a link here if you're interested. If you are watching this and you are an NHS volunteer drop down in the comments and let me know where you're from I'd be really interested to sort of see the location and also drop down in the comments what you'll be doing um, as an NHS volunteer of those four options. Today is a very exciting day for all of us really. We've been you know, waiting and waiting and waiting patiently uh, behind the scenes and today is the official launch day. So uh, last week there was like a, a mini sort of launch day which is basically kind of like a a beta where in like a game where it's like kind of not released properly but it's just released out to a couple of people and just see how you know it flows and if it, if it does flow well i believe there was about 1500 jobs sent out last week and i've and i've seen uh, i've read you know comments from different facebook pages that i'm in saying that you know it's, it's ran really smoothly there were kind of um jobs where the the volun the um, patient that was vulnerable was asking a little bit too much from you know the volunteer and i guess as we go on we will probably see this as as a as the volunteers and i think you know the more jobs we go to the more we'll be able to you know respond logically to this today's a very exciting day like i said because it is officially launched so i just wanted to stress you probably won't you know receive be receiving a job straight away straight away the the twitter page and the facebook page did say that today is the official launch day but that doesn't mean that you're going to be receiving jobs straight away. That that just means that you know the doctors and and uh, the hospitals will then be referring to this app now. Um, so it might not be straight away, but it's you know exciting news. What I'm going to be doing on this channel is, and this is kind of what I've been doing, you know, my entire YouTube career, should I should I say, is I'm documenting my journey. So I'm documenting my journey to become a qualified nurse. Whatever the you know the how happens in this journey, I don't know from day to day now because obviously with everything going on. I really wanted to get involved with this NHS volunteers because it's everything that I stand for and it's amazing to see how many people you know stand for the same thing that I do it's helping people when they're in you know vulnerable state and just doing the little bit you can whether it's just talking to someone over the phone smiling smiling at them at the street which is very very rare at this moment in time but you know just 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 that little bit that you can do it goes a very very long way in the world I believe what I want to do is document that journey and I'm going to be documenting my journey now as an NHS volunteer for you guys and I know many people are you know, confused at the process and I just wanted to document and you know, taking into consideration confidentiality as in it's very very important um, as you'll see when I do respond to them I'm not just going to be you know vlogging me with, with the patient um, I'm just going to be showing you the logistics behind the scenes so picking up the shopping sort of going through how the process works if that makes sense so if you are interested in all that then you know make sure you do subscribe and t and click the notification bell so you do know when I do upload um, because hopefully the next video that I do upload will be me responding to my first call as an NHS responder so like I said drop down in the comments where you guys are from and if you've had any calls and if they they went well or if they you know didn't go as well as as what you think i think that's really important because i want this you know these videos in in, in particular to kind of help other people as well if that makes sense you know if you if you are a volunteer i'd recommend going and joining the facebook pages as well they're very informative but also if you don't want to you can you can follow these videos as well which hopefully give you an insight in what it's really like and you know volunteering and making a little bit of difference that we can but like i said i haven't received any calls yet um, but when I do, I'm going to be documenting it on here, so you'll be the first people to know. My last video reached 1,000 views, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so if this video can reach 40 likes, I'd really, 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 really appreciate it. Um, you know, it's been a short and sweet video. I haven't really, you know, had much to document as of yet, but I just wanted to update you guys. And, you know, it's an exciting day for all of us today uh, as volunteers. So, you know, keep waiting patiently and hopefully everyone will be receiving their first or second calls today so 
but if you don't, it will be coming. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you do like and subscribe down below. If you haven't checked out my video previously to this talking about the logistics of what you guys can do as volunteers, go and check it out. And I will catch you guys in the next video, which hopefully will be me responding to my first voluntary job. See you in a bit. Thank you.